Wearing fake hair will cost Tanzanian women more. As announced by the Tanzanian Finance Minister on June 13, a 25% tax on wigs and hair extensions imported in the country and domestic products will be taxed at 10%. According to Minister Philippe Mango, this tax aims to mobilize more tax resources for the next state budget. The fiscal year of which began this July and which provides for expenses in the order of $14 billion or $113,000 13, 13, billion CFA francs. According to national statistics, the sale price of these weeks is around $130 or 7,400 CFA francs, which is more than the country's average gross per capita income which is estimated at $75 or 43,500 CFA francs in 2016. This is expected to generate substantial revenue for the public treasury once the finance bill is passed by the members' parliament. Tanzania, a large country in East Africa, has a population of 57 million and last year had a GDP of $58 billion or 33,640 billion CFA francs with a budget of $14 billion or 8,120 billion CFA francs. On the rise, President John Magufuli wants to accelerate the, the industrialization of the Tanzania economy, which is essentially based on mining, agriculture, agriculture and tourism and for this reason nothing stops fiscal creativity the state and the tanzania government have found a new niche that could be emulated by many on the continent the continent hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this other edition of economy first on your favorite television free cat tv that Af Pan-African television that builds Africa. Today we talk about the introduction of the tax and on weeks and extension in Tanzania. And to know more about it, I will introduce you to our guest, Mr. Kijang Henry Atembe. Good morning, Mr. Kijang Henry Atembe. Good morning, Marie Louise. You are um, a journalist in, in on Canal de English. Yes. Welcome to this set. Thank you very much. Do you, you are a gentleman, you are a gentleman like, do you like natural women like me or wigs and extension? Which, which do you want, which one do you prefer? Well, uh, just like any, any man, uh, except there is some, some man, uh, except there is a man somewhere who will not like natural things. Uh, everybody would like to go for natural um, uh, hair. You know, and you see, there are some women or there are some people generally who are blessed with having, you know, good natural hair, uh, especially with women that want long hair. Um, but it's always good to go natural. If you ask the question, would you like a natural fruit or fruit juice, or you like these gaseous products that are imported as drinks? I would tell you I prefer natural food, so it's normal for someone to like somebody with a natural hair like your own, which is beautifully uh, prepared. Um, though we do not despite the fact that some other people want to go for artificial hair, as um, as uh, you said. Okay, we will watch together a vox pop made by the Frica TV team. Africa have issued their opinions on the introduction of the tax of of the week and extension tax in Tanzania and it's right now uh, what I think actually uh, tax should be applied to every kind of product I've been in countries where everything even a candy even a cookie they apply taxes on so now if it comes on to hair product it depends on which if it is in Cameroon I don't know how people will accept that because 
they don't apply taxes on food. They don't apply taxes on items that people buy in, in stores. So this will be a big, 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 big problem. Maybe because women are used to buy the product without paying taxes. So now if they pay the taxes, where do these taxes go? That should be actually the problem too. Good to increase the tax on extensions and we maybe is a good thing for the government because what we give the tax is the taxes that help the world population. But now trader, when we increase the trader loses not because they will also increase that in his merchandise. Who is losing now? It is the consumer since it is us women who are consuming, it is us who are losing. Already that, the housewife's basket is already very small. We still have to take money. We have to increase on grapes and wigs. Well, some mothers do it because they don't have a hair on their heads. They have to wear extensions to please themselves. I think that increasing the tax will not be good. That we increase the tax, but that we let the woman please herself. Welcome back. We have all watched the different views. Did you know that there is a, Mr. Kejan, did you know that there is a new tax in Tanzania on fake women's hair? Well, um, it, it, it is an interesting thing to know that President John Magufuli, is, um, uh, his government, is doing everything to make sure um, the, swear the government coffers um, through uh, the, imp the, the, the implementation of new, uh, to, by broadening the tax base, that is, they, they will have to broaden the tax bid to meet up with um, certain demands. Of course, you know that that has to pass uh, through a bill in Parliament. Um, it is been normal. It's an interesting thing to know because every year, different countries introduce different um, approach into you know towards tax collection, and they have to broaden the tax b uh, revenue base. Now, introducing a tax on natural hair is an interesting thing because. Um, it's like those people who are into business, because this is direct tax, and direct tax, of course, you know that it is leveled on incomes, it is leveled on our business, you know, owners and property uh, owners and, and property concerns. If uh, people are importing, you know, natural, uh, artificial hair, which, of course, is used for women, and you know that if you move into our salons, um, these natural, these uh, artificial hair are extremely good business for the women. You know, women, just like the children industry, is a very rich industry. So you cannot be importing those 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 things, the 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 the, the, the artificial hair, and then you don't pay money into government coffers. Maybe if these things were produced, even if they were produced locally, right, you need to pay. And you know, you women, look at your hair. Um, I hear a Brazilian hair costs a lot of money, about um, $130 uh, uh, from 100 to 200, $130 to $200. That is big money. Okay? That is big money. Now, if you import this hair, you are coming to do business, and so they must tax it. They must tax it. And if you move into salons, you see the way women stream into these hairdressing salons to make up. It costs a lot of money. There are people, there are women who make their hair for, more, for as much as $300. So why would you not tax the, 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 the artificial hair? But if the women decide that they will not put on the artificial wear or hair, the government will not have money. They are prepared to keep their hair like their own. The government now will probably look for another means to broaden the tax base because the government must always create means of or avenues of, you know, increasing taxes. So I think it is a good thing that the president of Tanzania, John Magufuli, has uh, implemented so that these business people who are importing, you know, the, 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 the artificial hair should be able to pay some monies into the government coffers. You cannot just come and do business like that and then you carry all the proceeds away.
Thank you. The price of wig varies between four and one hundred thirty dollars between two thousand and seventy five thousand for four hundred CFA francs. Are these prices already within the reach of Tanzanian women? The the, the problem is not whether the, the, the cost of the hair is within the reach of Tanzanian women. I remember when we were at the World Cup in Brazil. Um, some people were saying, oh, we should come with the Brazilian hair, you know, it's the most cherished mm, uh, hair uh, our women love. You know, I'm taking a case of uh, women in Cameroon and the Central African subregion. But generally, I hear women love Brazilian hair all over the world. And then they, they, there's a preference. And then I think there is another one they call the Indian hair and so on. Um, your question is to know whether these women will be able to afford for it. Yeah. I would say yes. Sometimes the women, they are not the ones providing for the money. <laughs> yes, of course. You, if you ask me, I will tell you that the women don't provide for the money. The, 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 the people, there is, there is a tax in Tanzania called PAY, which is a direct pay as you earn. Okay, which means that if you pay a tax as you earn, that is uh, uh, indirect tax, or no, direct tax, that is tax that is leveled in your income. Okay, if you go into your income and then you prepare, for example, remove some, some, some small money and afford for, some women can even starve the whole family to be able to just to buy that hair. So um, if the business people are importing, it means that they have already carried their market research and know that the women like it and they have the monies to pay for. So it is very obvious that these women will be able to foot the bills of an imported artificial hair. Before asking the, the next question, we will watch together a vox pop made by the Frika team, the Frika television team. Yes, I think so. It should be a good thing. Is it a good idea to introduce a tax on the weeks and Wix imported and locally produced extensions. Um, let me tell you that taxation is um, one of the oldest functions in the world. Taxation is one of the oldest functions in the world. Let me just take you back to the Bible. And biblically, you know that you know this guy they call Zacchaeus. Yeah. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. You know what happened in the synagogue. When people moved and they were uh, and they were they were doing business in the synagogue, and Jesus took offense, you know what um, happened when they asked Jesus a question about the coin, and Jesus the response was, "Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to 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 God what is God." He was making a reference to money and spirituality. So. It, it is not a new thing because there is no government that will live without taxes. So each government will want to do everything to make sure they collect taxes, you know, as much as they can. You, there are a lot of people who, are, who evade taxes, especially in, in, in these developing countries. Let me just take the case of Cameroon, you, that you know, you have a mastery. You will see that at the end of the each financial year, there is always... A deficit because the government has even uh, introduced some reforms in its in, in its tax collection drive even at that it becomes difficult for the government to collect all the taxes so each government has every reason to collect taxes because it's these taxes that are used to run the economy as part of government's um, income. As part of government income, you have foreign reserves, you have uh, investments uh, that the government carries out in and out of the country, you know, you have um, assistance, etc. And then you have monies that they have for the natural resources. But then the tax, the government must collect taxes to be able to run the economy. So if the Tanzanian government, Tanzanian government has introduced taxes on which it's just one of those areas where uh, you can you can inject, you know, to bro as broadening the tax base, which is a normal thing.
Okay, thank you. Does the government know for sure that it will raise money in this sector given the, the interest women have in wigs and hair extension in Tanzania? We took to the, the, the street of Douala, the capital economic the economic capital of Cameroon, to get the opinions of its citizens. Oh yes, they will. Have you counted every out of 10 women, probably 9.5, 9.5 have extension. People like the hair, people like adding extension, people like it's long, it's short, everybody has his own style, everybody likes the best, everybody likes what's called human, Remy, Indian, they have so many and everybody has a choice. So if they are going to be applying taxes on those, oh my God, they will make a lot of money out of that. Welcome back to this set, Mr. Kijang. Does the government know for sure that it will raise money in this sector? given the interest women have in wigs and hair extensions in Tanzania? Yes, I want to say yes. The government should know because um, it is very easy to understand that if you move into different services, just stand by the roadside and see how many women put on natural hair. Stand by the roadside and we'll go to the offices and see how many women put on artificial hair you will now be able to measure because even just take just take a simple census just make a simple census move to a, a main junction you stand there calculate the number of persons or you see the density per 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 distance and see the number of women who pass and then on the number of women you calculate to know how many women are putting on natural hair? How many women are putting on artificial hair? You will know. Putting on natural hair means leave your hair natural. I'm not saying that you buy something in natural hair and come and put. No, you leave your hair natural. That's putting on natural hair. You'll be able to determine and then move on weekends. It is easy to come to calculate. Go to the salons on weekends where they do women hair. You see how many women enter the salon. From there, you can be able to tell me. Count the number of salons. In Dar es Salaam, I'm talking about Dar es Salaam alone before moving into other cities. You'll be able to tell me the quantity of artificial hair that women buy. And so the government will be able to determine that this artificial hair uh, will be able to generate a taxes for the economy and, of course, huge taxes. Why doesn't the state and Tanzania government introduce a tax on imported wigs and extension instead? No, like I said, it, 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 it depends on what the government wants. It depends on what the government wants. The government can decide to introduce taxes on this. The government can, uh, of course, it depends on, uh, and, and then, it, the, 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 you know, the proportion. The government can tell you, well, taxable income, uh, taxes, you know, direct taxes on business and so on and property. It should be at this so it is a matter of choice. It's a matter of the target that the government wants to meet. You know, each financial year, the government sets its targets, its targets on development. Uh, and so the government needs money, you know, to be able to meet up with those sectors. We remind you that you are on your favorite television, Freaker TV, and the program is Economy First. According to the BBC report, South Africa, Nigeria, and Cameroon alone spend a comma one billion dollars or six hundred and thirty eight billion CFA franc. Do you think that each African state should introduce this tax to mobilize more tax resources? Of course, no. Let me tell you, in Cameroon, there is a tax for that. Uh, if you move into the industrial zone, um, there is a very famous company there that produces the uh, artificial hair. There is taxes for that, direct or indirect. Because these companies produce these taxes, yes, it is true. They employ people to work there uh, because it's synthetic. They employ people to work there, and the people are paid, you know, taxes are paid uh, because of the business they're doing. When they, they buy, they move to the market. Those who are doing wholesales pay tax. Those who are doing retail pay tax. And if you go to the saloon, you know, this, this is value added at all stage. 
and if you move into the salons, those who operate salons equally pay taxes. So it is, uh, it is very obvious that a lot of money will be generated, you know, from um, the uh, taxes as a result of uh, a lot of money will be generated from uh, uh, taxes levied on, you know, artificial hair. What will be the impact of this tax on merchants in this market sector? Before asking the question to Mr. Kijang, we will know what the men of the street think about, about that extract. Welcome back on this set. What will be the impact of this tax on merchants in this market sector? Um, Look, let me tell you uh, the impact of this new tax on the business people. It is just like asking the question, what will be the impact of a particular tax maybe on cheese, what you call fromage, on business people? I'm talking about imported cheese because there are some countries that have, you know, produce a cheese like in Cameroon we have. But if you have to produce, import cheese from France, cheese from China, cheese from Holland, you know, from the Scandinavia because they produce good cheese, what would be the impact on the business people? Of course, you have to pay your taxes. That is a simple norm. Everybody must pay a tax. But now, because, you know, sometimes they used to give some companies tax, tax rebates, you know, for example, you know, when you're coming up to set, set a, co a company here, they, are, they, they give you some exonerations in terms of the customs department. They give you some um, rebates in terms of taxes uh, to permit you, you know, sustain and so on and so forth. But it might, it, it, the, the fact is, if you tax them, it will have a ripple effect to on the consumer because now the consumer too will feel the impact. If you tax me on this pen, I will equally increase the price so that I'll be able to make up my profits after I've deducted all the expenses in terms of running cost, electricity, water, transport, uh, fuel, um, insurance etc etc so the incident will be borne by the common man or the end user who is the woman the woman will be one to suffer not the man <laughs> before ending this program do you have something to add about this yes it, it is an interesting uh, topic uh, to know that women are always causing trouble you know with this issue of natural hair now president john magufuli has been reflecting on what to do the God gave you this natural hair, you just need to polish it and make it look good. But you say, no, you are taking an artificial hair. So the president said, okay, since you are now defying God's, God's will, okay, you will pay a tax for doing that. I think that is the reason why President Magufuli has decided that, okay, he will import, rather he will impose, you know, tax on artificial hair, because that is what you like. You will pay for the taxes rather than putting on your natural hair. Thank you, Mr. Kejang, for being here on this set. It's my pleasure. I'm always ready to uh, contribute uh, when you need me. Okay, thank you. It was a great pleasure to exchange, to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Africa TV viewers, a television, a vision of the development of Africa by Africans. Goodbye. <laughs>